am Nancy with Creative Cuts. Thanks for joining me and welcome to another video in the Make the Cut Basics tutorial series. In this video I'm going to show you a few different methods for joining objects together that you can use when you're creating a new piece. So to start with I'm just going to come up to the Add Basic Shapes icon on the top and I'm going to just pull a few shapes onto the mat to work with. So I'm going to grab a block arc and we'll bring a circle in. I'm just double clicking on these to add them to the mat and then we'll go with a heart as well. So I'll close that. And now you can see I've got the three items there. I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. And now I'm just going to overlap them a little bit. Now I'm not worrying too much about how I'm overlapping them or what shape I'm creating because I'm just demonstrating the different effects here. So to start with I need to select all three items. Now I can either select one hold down shift and then click on the other two to select them or I'm just going to click off to deselect those. I can just click hold the left mouse button down, drag my mouse until there's a bounding box around all three shapes, let go and all three shapes are selected. Now the basic way to join pieces together is to use the weld command down here on the bottom menu. So I'm going to click on that and you'll notice that what happens is you basically just get the outline of all the shapes joined together into one shape. So that's a very basic join. I'm going to hit edit undo to undo that effect and I'm going to select the three items again. Now the second way to join them together is actually called a join. So I'll click on that one and you'll notice that what happens is anywhere where the items were overlapped that actually now becomes blank space. So those are pieces that would end up being cut out of your finished piece. So that's another very different look that you can get. So I use that for example when I'm creating maybe a scalloped edge where I want there to be a hole in the center. You can use two circles, overlap them uh, with one exactly on top of the other being a little bit smaller, join them together and now you've got a circle with a hole in it that you can then duplicate and create a lacy edge. So that's one way that I use that quite a bit. Anyways I'm going to undo that join and now I'm just going to select two shapes. And the last thing that I'm going to show you is this Boolean join. Now this only works if you just have two shapes selected. So I'll click on that and you'll notice that right away what happened was I've got a piece of the heart left and the entire um, half circle, that arc, has disappeared and it's also cut a little piece out of the heart. So that one is called an AB difference and what it does is removes the B item or the item underneath from the A item or the item on top. Now I'm going to cancel this for a moment. This change hasn't actually been made yet. This is just a preview of what will happen. And I'll just show you, I'll zoom in a little bit closer here so you can see it a little bit easier. If you look at these two items that are selected, the heart outline is more solid and the outline of the, the half circle here, the arc, where they overlap is a little bit more faded. So that tells you that the heart is the piece that's on top. So that's going to be your A when you're looking at the AB equation. So I'm going to come back into Boolean join. Move this up here so we can see what's happening on the mat. And now you'll notice there's a drop down list. So there's actually a few different options in here. The second one is a BA difference. So what that will do is remove A from B or it'll remove the heart from the arc. So when I click on that, I'll get the preview. And you can see now that the arc is back and it's got a little bite out of it where the heart was sitting. So this is a really good way to tell what kind of look you want when you join your items together. You can preview them without actually making the change and it lets you just toggle through the list. The third option is intersect and what that does and it shows you here what it's going to leave behind. It leaves just the piece that's overlapped. So just that little bit in there. And then the final two options exclude takes out what's overlapping. So if you remember that's basically the same as the join command. And then finally the union joins them together and just ignores what overlaps. So that's basically the same as weld. So once you play with that a little bit, I'll just click apply to 
keep that change. Once you play with that a little bit and you start overlapping basic shapes and, and putting basic shapes together, you'll find that you can actually create a lot of unique new shapes. Um, you know, all kinds of things from a house to a bug to a flower to, you know, just about you name it, just by using your imagination. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a little bit about how to create new shapes using the basic shapes and some of the join features. Thanks for joining me.